Well, again, I have to thank you. This has been a, a very uh, educational uh, uh, discussion, and uh, I have been more pleased with the knowing that the candidates all are sincere and wanting to represent this very, very exciting congressional district. I look at it as though they're applying for my job. And uh, while nobody seems to believe that I haven't done a good job, I think the thing is it's time for a change. Well, we all are putting applications in. And if you take a look at our background and training and try to figure out what's good for this country at this time, who has produced and not who would like to produce, I kind of think that the, 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 the job would be weighted in my favor. But that's what this, profit, pro, this process is all about, to let the public decide. We put out our credentials, we put out what we like to do, we put out what we have done, and hopefully on uh, June 26, uh, people would make that decision and I hope it would be in my favor. Well, thank you for all the candidates uh, for coming here for this uh, important debate. Uh, I think that what happens very often is when one feels when they've been on the job too long that there's just absolutely nobody in the planet that can do as good as a job as you, as you do. I think that's fundamentally flawed. I think there's lots of folks, young people, that have uh, talents, sometimes hidden talents, that want to do a good job. I think that this juncture in history provides a historic opportunity for change to turn the page. Congressman Ackerman in Queens decided to move on. Congressman Towns in Brooklyn decided also to move on. I think it is time for change. It's in the air. I believe that we'll be a bold new voice in Congress. I believe that I will be that voice. And I hope that I can get the support of the majority of voters in the 26. Thank you.